Hello, it's time for Flashback, the weekly history quiz. Let's find out what's happened in history. In uh, 1973, Billie Jean King beats Bobby Riggs in the Battle of the Sexes, helping to energize women's tennis. All right, against that, we're putting a Sumerian ruler, and Matina cancels the subject debts. It's one of the first known cases of debt relief, which kings start to do regularly. Fascinating. Well, I think that'll be a little bit before 1973, don't you think? Yes, 2400 BCE. I always love those, those bits of sort of ancient historical context. Uh, his, uh, Hershey Chocolate lays off one of its dairy man managers, H.B. Reese. All right. To support his family, Reese will develop and sell his own candy, a peanut butter cup. Is that going to be in the 40s or something, 50s? I don't know. No, much earlier, 1919. All right. Uh, those are older than I would have guessed. The Norse settled the islands of Greenland and Newfoundland, the first known European presence in North America. Yes, that would be, oh, when do I think that is? Like a thousand or or, so, or maybe a few centuries after that. Oh, a, th a thousand is exactly right. Well, I mean, circa a thousand, but my guess was pretty good. Uh, in Pennsylvania, Richard James knocks over a metal spring and sees it bounce. He's inspired to make a steel toy, which his wife Betty names the Slinky. Okay, now this feels to me like the 50s. Let's see if it is. 43, yeah, close-ish. Frederick Tudor begins shipping ice from New England across the world. To beat his rivals, rivals, he simply lowers prices until all their ice melts away. I wonder if that's Tudor of the Tudor house of, of England, but uh, I don't know. It's going to be obviously before 1919, uh, 1806. Okay, so yeah, it's well, well past the Tudor era. That makes sense. I mean, it says, yeah, shipping around the world, ice wouldn't have been... Wouldn't have been in the Tudor era. Anyway, needing an ally in Europe, the Mongols make a deal with Prince Ivan I. It helps catapult his home, a small town called Moscow, to power. Uh, right, okay. Uh, that'll be before 1806, but after 1,000. That's a pretty broad range. 1331, okay, yeah. There we go. A monk meets a boy, six, from Salzburg, who improvises piano music endlessly and beautifully. The boy is, of course, Mozart. There we go. That'll be the uh, 17, early, early 1700s. Oh, no, sorry, late 1700s, 1762, or mid-1700s. Apologies. At their empire's peak, the Khmer build Angkor Wat in their capital. The city has about 700,000 people, making uh, making it one of the world's largest. I would have thought this would be around this same time, maybe after 1331, before 1762. No, I was, I was much too late. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, there we go. Got one wrong today. Need to need to bone up on that particular area of knowledge. Look at that. I was in good company. The majority of people uh, were in this score range. So let's look and see. Okay. Uh, everybody got the Sumerian ruler correct, you'd think, as you'd expect. Just about everybody got the Norse settling Greenland and Newfoundland correctly. Right. Okay. So I was definitely in good company here. Only a third of people correctly placed Angkor Wat. So I was about, you know, I was a couple hundred years off on that one. Um, fifteen percent of people misplaced the uh, the rise of Moscow. Um, oh, right, about a tenth of people misplaced Mozart. Uh, nearly everybody got Edward, uh, for, sorry, for Frederick Tudor and his ice. I wonder if he descends from those Tudors or or not. Um, just about everybody got uh, Reese peanut butter cups. Most people got this placing of the um, slinky, and uh, and there we have it. That was a slightly flawed flashback for me this week. Uh, more of this next week. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.